it's time for the unboxing that I have been particularly excited and waiting for. You might know me as Silver Forever, but the reality is I'm about 50-50 Gold Forever. I think that both Silver and Gold have their places in our stacks. One huge advantage for Gold, you might think it's overplayed, but this is a real thing. Gold does not take up anywhere near the same amount of space as Silver. Not only do you have a ratio that might be you know 50 to 150 to 1 but gold of course is even denser than silver so if you ever have to make a quick getaway or if you ever just need to move your precious metals around I know it's a very basic thing but that's a legitimate reason to have some serious gold in your stack if you're going to be stacking silver. Although there may not be as much potential upside with gold, gold is here to stay and it's an extremely important part of your stack. Now there are tons of reasons to love gold, but that's not why we're here today. Today we are here to unbox, to unveil the newest gold that I'm sure is going to be in all of our stacks. And that is the Type 2 American Gold Eagle. There she is, the one ouncer. You know, there's been a ton of talk in recent months in the stacking community about the Type 2 Silver Eagle. Not a lot of fans out there of the Type 2 Silver Eagle, but what I have noticed and what I can certainly agree with is that the Type 2 design for the American Gold Eagle is not that bad at all. And looking at it in person, I don't know, I'm just going to be real. First impressions, I don't think that it looks quite as good in person as I expected. Let's try to open this without doing any damage. I'm still very, very happy to have more gold in the stack. Do not get me wrong. Why not glove up for this? All right, let's bust her out. I'll tell you, I will never get over how dense gold is and how cool it feels in the hand. There she is, folks. The Type 2 American Gold Eagle. A nice addition to the stack. And for the record, let me just say, Monument Metals, if I'm gonna spend a couple grand on a single one ounce gold coin, do you mind just putting it in a capsule? You really gotta send it in this cheapo flip. I like the design more online than I do in person. I don't know, it's just underwhelming. I thought that there would be more detail to the head. I mean, it's just kind of lines and feathers. Kind of underwhelmed is what it is though. To me, this is just a solid one ounce gold bullion coin. I'm not getting it for collector value. This is just something that I know, without a doubt, will be bought and accepted from any LCS in the country. Hell, any LCS in the world is going to recognize this coin and will pay you spot or more for it. And if they don't, then you shouldn't go there. Let's search for that famed reed on the edge. There we go, you can kind of see it. It's right here. Try to get a little closer for you. Doesn't look like much from the side, but it is there. I've said it before and I will say it again. Very underwhelmed by the new US Mint coins and their security feature or lack thereof. The American Gold Eagle produced by the US Mint is denominated is $50. Of course, this is worth, you know, nowadays over $1,800. So who in their right mind would use it as a coin? But technically you could. And you'll notice that it's not quite as yellow 
as other gold coins that I've shared on the channel before. And that is because this is not actually pure gold. The gold eagles produced by the U.S. Mint actually have a healthy serving of silver in them. It is 90.67% gold, which is this many carats. And the rest is mostly silver, and I believe a small smattering of copper. Now, the reason for making a coin not pure gold mostly has to do with durability. But of course, this still qualifies as a fine gold. There still is one full troy ounce of gold in here, don't get me wrong. It just actually weighs slightly more than one troy ounce because of the silver in the composition. Exactly how much does it weigh, you ask? Well, that's what our handy dandy scale is for. So let's bust this bad boy out. We're gonna power her on. Hit that tear button and drop. 1.093 troy ounces. If you love precious metals like I do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let me know, have you already added a type two gold eagle to the stack? I have some type one, one tenth gold eagles in my stack as well. But just remember, just because we're named silver forever doesn't mean that we don't appreciate gold and recognize its importance in a stack. And it might be harder to get into gold. For me, my one tenth ounce gold collection is far more about collecting than it is about buying cheap. While I do think that there's an argument to be made that buying one tenth ounce gold is better than buying nothing at all, if I really want to lock up my wealth in the form of gold, I'm gonna typically be buying one ounces just because the premium is that much less. And that is a true advantage to buying gold. Certain coins like the Gold Eagle or the Gold Buffalo often carry a higher premium than other gold coins. But in general, and certainly within the last year or so, gold commands a much lower premium than silver, which means that all other things being equal, you're far more likely to be able to recoup your investment on gold as opposed to silver. Well, we're gonna leave it at that, folks. What I will say is, I'm gonna give this some time, see if it grows on me, but I'm just not a huge fan of the design. That's not why I buy American Gold Eagles. It has much more to do with the fact that everybody will buy them back for me if the day does come. But the Silver Forever stacking philosophy is that we're planning to hold the silver forever. We're planning to hold the gold forever, but it's always nice to know that if it doesn't work out, we have a nice little healthy amount of savings here that we can go exchange for fiat cash in the event that we need to, or we have just an insurance policy. And hopefully that day will never come, and if it doesn't, then we can pass it on to the loved ones in our lives, and we can enjoy holding it and exploring it and looking at that shiny in the meantime. So with that, I'd like to say thanks for stopping by the channel. Stick around for more unboxings, more educational videos about silver and gold, and maybe even things like platinum, palladium, or other commodities, general topics like inflation and economics, and how you can best prepare yourself and your family to set up your own solid economic future. Silver Forever, out.